How y'all doing today? Just wanted to make a quick video. Um, I've gotten asked at several gas stations, boat launches, and all that, uh, how I go about mounting a 7-inch depth finder in a 5-inch hole. Um, anybody that has a sun tracker, uh, most party barges knows that the console is cut out for a 5 inch uh, depth finder and 5 inch is good it's it's you know what I ran it's it's over there on the on the bow right now that's what I had for a while just because it was the only thing that would fit in the hole uh, but you are limited on um, what you can get as far as 5 inch depth finder so I'm going to show you real quick how I bypassed it and how you could do the same. Alright, what you see here is the 7 inch Garmin. This down here is the 5 inch hole that the Sun Trackers come with. And the 5 inch does fit in there good. I mean, it's, it's nice, sleek. Um, I, I mean, it, it trims out very good. But, like I said, 5 inch, you're limited on what you can do. So what I did is, at Bass Pro Shop, they sell these um, Scotty ball mounts. These adjustable ball mounts. And it's got a little small base, as you can see in there. Uh, basically, almost the same size as the base for the 5 inch depth finders. So, uh, I just put the base in there. I marked my holes. I drilled the holes. Now this fiberglass is super thin, very, very flexible. So to keep it from just being in here and a wobbly, I mean, you can see how stiff I'm trying to shake it. So what we got is right there. I just cut a piece of a uh, little quarter inch Luan just because that's what I had. Now, I'm probably going to upgrade that once I get a little bit longer bolts, maybe just some half inch. But I just cut some plywood and drilled the holes and stuck it behind. That way it is reinforced. It, it, it's real solid, uh, not going anywhere. Uh, as you can see, I mean, I shook it, but that little fiberglass right here is really thin. So I just put this this little quarter inch luon and it's stiffened everything right up kind of distributes the weight a little bit better and while we're on the subject of fish finders I'll go ahead and show you I got the trolling motor I just strapped the old transducer from my little five inch I had cut me a little one before put me some u-bolts on it and now I got me a bow fish finder so uh, with this long pontoon boat my depths I every time I would go and be trolling and fishing off the front I was having to look uh, and the depth in the back would be different than the depth in the front so to overcome that I just threw that little cheap one up front and transducer wise just like anything else um, you can see the marks for the old ones so uh, this one here was a little bit bigger and and dropped down a little bit more so uh, I did have to change the mount but um, it's mounted on where your um, aerator pump is so goes right there just follow the wires up goes through goes across good to go so well hopefully this uh this video helps somebody that you know kind of wants to upgrade their their depth finder from a five inch to uh you know something bigger i mean i went with the seven but i mean the sky's the limit with these mounts uh you can really get whatever size you want i'm i'm not a super rich man so uh me personally i had to go with the little cheaper unit uh but you know with this mount one day when i win the lottery or you know get some extra cash i can upgrade with, with what's already there so all i got to do is change out the transducer and get me a bigger uh bigger unit so we're uh we'll be good to go like subscribe if you want to see more videos you know come on we're making them all the time
Appreciate you watching this one. Later.